Now that we have defined the sum of products form, I want to show you how we go back and forth between sum of products and products of sum. Um, so if we're given a function, we can complement the entire function using De Morgan's theorem. Let me show you an example of what I mean. So suppose we are given a function in sum of products form. All right, so let's say our function is a, b, or c, d, or b, d. Okay, so we have products a, b, c, d, and b, d getting ORed together, so this is sum of products form. Um, this corresponds to a circuit with um, three two input AND gates and two OR gates. Now, um, since we know that if we have something and we double complement it, we're just going to get that same something back for all x, we can say that um, we're not going to change our function at all if we double complement it. And by double complementing it, now we have some complements to work with. So our original function, a, b, or c, d, or b, d, we can use an inner complement and then we can keep that outer complement. Okay, so I have the, um, the two, my double complements for f kind of separated out into two steps here. So if I use this inner complement here to um, apply De Morgan's to the inside of the parentheses here, this is going to give me a, b complement. I'm going to change the or to an and. C, D gets its own complement. I change this or to an and, and B, D gets its own complement, and now I still have this complement on the outside. So now you can see that um, we changed all of our ors to ands, and then every one of these terms get their own complement. So be careful, it's not the individual literals A and B that get their own complement, not yet. We need to apply De Morgan's again in order to do that. Um, so let's do that next. Now if I want to apply De Morgan's to each one of these terms that have their own complement on the outside, um, this, if I distribute the complement to the A and B, this is going to give me A naught, change this and to an or, give the B its own naught. Okay, so that's the way De Morgan's works. Distribute the complement to the A and B, change the and to an or. Great, so I'm going to do that again for this. This becomes C or C naught or D naught. This becomes B naught or D naught. And now I no longer have the complements on the outside of the parentheses because I distributed them in, but these are still anded. And I also still have this outer complement. So now look what I have. Um, I have sums that are being anded together, right? So this is a sum, this is a sum, this is a sum, and they're kind of being producted together. So this is actually in product of sums form. And the way we got that is by applying De Morgan's twice. Now we still have this outer complement. So um, this is technically equal to F, right? Um, sometimes it works out that depending on what your design constraints are, it can be easier to um, create the circuit for the complemented function and then just stick an inverter on the end. So it's helpful to be able to go back and forth between F and F's complement. Um, and also if you're asked to um, go between sum of products form and product of sum form, the way we do that is you can do this little double complement um, trick and it doesn't change the logic of your function at all.